Hey everybody, it's Carla. Hope y'all are all doing well. So I wanted to come on and give an update because I had a couple of people reach out to me and ask a little bit more and to show in more detail this dye storage that I have. I had done a video a while ago about it and I think I showed it not too long ago or alluded to it not too long ago when I was doing my dye storage from my um, puzzle rack that I had for my daycare and I changed it up and turned it into a dye storage and that is really working out great. I love that. It's just so easy. Um, I love this as well because this is where I have a lot of my go-to dyes, a lot of my word dyes and I've tweaked it and added to it recently. So I thought it'd be a good time and turn around looking for the magnet I used. Uh, to give an update and to share with you how it's turned out. It's working great. <clears throat> so, this is a photo album stand that I picked up at Michael's, um, gosh, a couple years ago. I wish I'd gotten more. When I got them, they were on the clearance rack. I have this size and I have a smaller size behind me that I think is a 6x6. Six six. Yes, I'm looking at it. It's a 6x6. Six six. This is an 8x8. Eight and this works great for dye storage. So if you see anything like this, again, and you like to have everything at your desk within arm's reach, this might be a good solution for you because it's worked out really, really great. So when I first made it, I didn't have a lot of the larger um, pieces of magnet and I since um, had some extras from the other dye storage project and I thought I would add to this. So basically this is just a um, page stand. You know, if you do a scrapbook page or you wanna print out some large photos. And this is just a stand to, you know, show. Um, instead of having a photo album, you would have it on a stand. So it's made of wrought iron and hopefully I don't bump, the tripod is in between me and you, me and this. So hopefully I don't bump into it. I'll try to walk, work around it. So it came with a few page protectors, I think maybe I don't remember. It's been a long time. Um, maybe eight, nine, or ten. I can't remember. And then, of course, I added some to it. So that's why you see a couple different kinds on here. So since it's eight by eight, I had picked up this magnet, which is the vent covers. And I posted a picture of this on social media. And what I like about this is that uh, the size of it is eight by fifteen. So this is an eight by eight. So it'd be perfect, even more perfect if it was eight by 16. Um, so it doesn't come all the way over. There's a little bit room, but it's eight this way. But it gave me plenty of room to add the tabs. So it actually works out good because the magnet is in there. If it was sticking out, some of the dies might fall off. Now, as I'm flipping them around, sometimes the dies do shimmy around, but for the most part, they stay in place. So let me see if I can pull this a little forward. You guys can see it. There we go. Okay. So they're not alphabetized or anything. I just, they're kind of in here as I was going through them. Each pocket has two magnets, one in the front and then one in the back, which I'll have to show you. And I went and added some tabs. I'm out of labels for my label maker. So I just used one of my um, tab punches. Actually, I used one of my dies, I think, for this. And some scrap white cardstock, and I just wrote down. So this is this whole page has congratulations or congrats dies. Then in behind here, I have, and these just flip over. That's the cool part. You've probably not seen that, but it can flip all the way over. And as you can see, you can have some on both sides, which really does work out. So the back of that one was celebrate and I have um, hooray on here so you see that one shim shifted around but this is really cool guys because I'm using them more and I because because I'm seeing them so I have dream big this is a uh, one that I bought at a yard sale it's um, uh, rainbows and colors this says dream and these all say celebrate hooray and that one says celebrate so you can just flip them over let me get back to the front side. Because it's wrought iron, it's able to hold a lot of the weight. That's that's the good the good thing about this. 
So I have congrats. I guess maybe flip, let me flip them, them all the way over. So this one has phones and I had some random ones. So I have some butterflies and some random pieces. So I had a bunch of sets. So what I decided to do, I usually keep all the sets together, but because I still have a lot of the packaging in a, in a storage bin in case I ever sell them or whatever. Um, I guess that's the hoarder in me. Um, so there was other things that went with some of these sets, but because it made more sense to be somewhere else, like the word sweet, I think was with this one because it's a gumball machine or a cupcake. And then these came with um, one that had a bunch of different dyes on it. So they are, this is a little more of a hodgepodge. So on the back side of that, um, maybe I'll flip it around. Um, it's just um, banners and like toppers. So there's the congrats and the back is the celebrate. These are photo frames and film strips. So I have a bunch of different size Polaroids and I believe the other side is even more Polaroids. Then I have some camera dies and I still have room to grow. And the back of that is arrows. I'll flip it around so you guys can see the other side from the other way. This side is to and from. There's some wedding on here. Um, and a couple of others. This is a really pretty one that I got. And you and me for weddings. This one is different thank yous. So I have a, see these all came in a set. So I broke the set up and put the thanks or thank you here. So I have a lot to choose from. And it's real easy just to reach in and pull the die. I reach in and grab a die. It's really pretty easy. Then this one, I haven't done a label of it because it's a little bit of a hodgepodge as well. I've got shine and bright. I thought those kind of went together. Then I have for you. I could put that over there with the other one. Then I have thinking of you. It's the little things. So um, I probably could label that one. A lot of these are the hottie swap words. It just made more sense to keep all those together. And there's the sweet that went with that other stack. And this um, is a lot of hello. I do have an aloha in here. That one shifted around. So, very cool. I have a lot of those. Here's another photo frame, but this is a birthday. So this is all birthday related and I have all the balloons together. And birthday, I have another side of birthday in the back. Because some of these were purchased um, secondhand through a scrappy yard sale, somebody had gone and labeled them. So I went ahead and Put the label on here instead of just getting rid of it so i could come in here and i need to add um another tab here um these are get well and these are sending hugs and so sorry with sympathy so i thought those kind of all went together so i probably should make a tag this is sympathy these say smile words um this is uh like you're a gem or you rock, I mean, actually, it's what that means. You are loved, and this one says, um, hey there, cupcake. That was one of the, my recent purchases at a yard sale. These are all my tabs. This is the one that I use to make my tabs. Make sure these aren't sticking together. These magnets are strong. And I think some of the other ones, the rest of them, I have plenty of room to go grow. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have this piece, and then I have a couple extra empties. So I've got plenty of room to grow. I still have more dies that I could go through, um, but that's as far as I got. So let me go ahead and turn it around, and then you guys can see what was on the other side. So again, there's another blank one. These are all larger, like um, page dies. These all have happy. This says birthday. Uh, fabulous and I think this is absolutely here this is best wishes and good luck I thought those kind of go together this one is the back side of the birthday see that one shimmied around when I moved it but that's okay some more word dies these are kind of all a little bit all over there's memories explore there's travel I punched that one out because I was always having a hard time reading backwards on that one Today, laugh, this is joy, believe, very cool. And these were a couple of sets. These have been split up, um, but I put all these on here together, the ones that were left over. Some more large words. 
These are all versions of mom, mom, mother. It says welcome. I thought about putting that somewhere else, but I left it here. Family and dream. And we have a bunch of thank yous. Thanks or thank you. Got lots of those. These are all about love or lovely or love you. So a love theme. And here's a bunch of arrows. And there's some more of the Polaroid. So you can see, I, uh, I think all of these I picked up recently. They were all a dollar a piece. I love going to scrappy yard sales. And these are the Celebrate ones. I think I've already shown you this page. And then we're back to the front, which is different banners. So guys, this is an awesome way to store some of your dyes. If you're able to score one of these stands, these photo stands, it doesn't take up a ton of room. I keep it um, one table over, and then when I need it, I just pull it over to my working station, and I can keep it and um, use it. And the great thing about this is I use my little, um, I need to either use my big shot or I can use my little sidekick, because a lot of these smaller ones fit through my sidekick. So that's a little update on my photo frame storage for my dies. I am loving it. Like I said, when I've got them out and about, it makes it so much easier to find them for one and to use them. Because before I had a lot of my dyes in um, like an art iris cart, like a, the larger drawers, and I had to go in and dig, on, dig through them. And I had them sorted um, and sectioned off, but it still took time. The door, drawer was very heavy. This way I've got my most used dyes here and then um, it just makes it so much easier. So keep an eye out for this. Pick you up some of the magnetic vent cover. And there's lots of other places to get the magnets. I just, I don't do a lot of online ordering. You guys know that. And um, so I pick these up at Lowe's. But I know that you could probably order them. You might can even get them cheaper. I think it's about 5 75 ish for a pack of three. And I was able, I'm able to do six of these pages because I can cut this in half to fit in these pages. So that's something you could think about if you have an old eight by eight album. You could always put these in the album and just keep your album up and flip through them. That's another way to do it. Just depends on how big your dye collection is. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you think it will work for you. Again, keep an eye out for something like this. If I do see anything, guys, I will let you know. These were from Michaels a few years ago. I had planned on using them and making um, like a photo album and just put uh, pull out the pages and swap them out and keep it up in my living room. It, it was a project that never got done. And um, this is actually working out better. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you to some um, to everybody who's been leaving comments and my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. I love chit chatting with everybody, and um, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.